Love You to Death is our eighth record, and we recorded it with Greg Kirsten, who has worked on our previous album, Heartthrob, but this time we wanted to just be the three of us. And Tegan and I were both living in LA. We wrote a bunch of songs for the record and then went in and actually had a bit more of a collaboration with Greg this time. He helped us flesh out some of the arrangements and we did a little bit of additional writing with him. Then we went in and made the record and it was really straightforward. We just were in there for a couple of months and I actually kept saying that I thought that we might be making either the best record we'd ever made or the worst because it was so easy that was something was unnerving to me about how uh, effortless it felt. I think that when we were getting ready to make our last record, we already felt that way about Greg. It was him him or no one. And the truth was was that we needed the process we ended up having, which was that we met with a lot of producers and we ended up working with a bunch. And it was really nice because Sarah and I were evolving into a different kind of artist than we had been. You know, we'd made records very traditionally. And so I think it may have been jarring for us to switch up our process so dramatically. But with Love You to Death, we felt very confident about the way that Greg works. And he was so encouraging we found something in Greg that we had never found with someone before and there's a real dynamic between us that's very uh, creative and positive but also he's just a very funny person and he makes working on a record feel less stressful than I've ever felt so we, we did write them with him in mind we wrote w with a certain type of production in mind and so I think Greg really understood that as soon as he heard the songs you know I, I tell the story that he turned around one day listening to some of the demos with us and and you know he was just like I just like the way you guys write you write pop songs in a really different way than than I hear on a daily basis and it feels nice to be seen by him and and, and be encouraged I think it comes out in the music I think we, were, we wrote and produced this record in a very confident way our process of songwriting hasn't changed very much honestly we we've always sort of had a very insular creative period of time where we'll not even really be around each other you know there'll be a lot of songwriting and recording and exploration and once we start to feel confident with the songs we might start sharing sessions or adding little melodic hooks or you know background vocals or maybe even you know just just advice about things that we like or we don't like that's been a pretty consistent process for us since uh, the beginning of our career and I think you know when it comes to the actual production and having the record sound different I really sort of give full credit to Greg Kirsten he has he has a really specific uh, approach yeah he just he really had a vision and I think you know keeping keeping the group kind of small and keeping um, it just the three of us there's a there's a cohesive feeling to this record that I think is quite unique for us the record comes out on June 3rd uh, in the year 2016 and can't believe that it's 2016 the other day I was like writing out in a text to somebody oh you know the album's gonna come out this time and we're gonna probably tour until you know early 2018 and I was like and then we'll be dead I guess because it's just like holy sh our record is gonna come out in the future the near future